Ladies and gentlemen, I know it has been a while and I'm kind of sick still, but the manga shopping videos are back. Let's go. I know, I know, I know. It's been a while since the last manga shopping video and I'm sorry, but you know, we had to switch the content up a bit, but right now we're going back to the roots. We're going to Kinokuniya in Little Tokyo as we usually do. And it, honestly, it's been a while since I've been here, so I was pretty excited to see what they have. But to be honest, I kind of took my own advice for once and I said that, you know what, the Right Stuff Anime Hall is going on right now. Uh, the Right Stuff Anime Holiday Sale, I mean, is going on right now. So I'm just going to buy some manga from there. But it does mean there was some cool stuff here. As you saw, there were the new releases, some Hollow Life stuff. Um, was there as well and then in the light novel sex section they had some 86 some Astro score some ascendance of the bookworm some Ari Furueta uh, Some bottom tier Nozaki kun class from the elite, you know the usual suspects. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to ask uh, for the question of the day uh, Let me know what you guys have been hauling recently or if you plan to buy anything from the right stuff anime uh, Holiday sale by the way affiliate link in the description is below if you want to help support the channel it would mean a lot, but, you know, you don't always have to, you don't have to click it, as always. I appreciate you just watching the video. But, back to what we're looking at. They had the Data Live novels over here. They're already on Volume 6, which is surprising, because, um, it's, it's been kind of a short time since they've started releasing those, so it's good to see that the translation is going pretty fast uh, on those, and, you know, I had to look at some interspecies reviewers, of course, but, <coughs> and excuse me, I'm a bit sick still, but, yeah, it was good to see that uh, Data Live is getting a pretty fast publication. Uh, maybe it'll motivate me to read it one day. Uh, they also had some Origairu, some solo leveling, some Bunny Girl Senpai, which is getting a season 3, some Saga of Tanya the Evil, Mushuko Tensei. I'm very curious why they didn't put the Saga of Tanya the Evil and Mushuko Tensei uh, with the rest of the Isekai uh, novels, which have their own section. Um, I'm not really sure why they did that, but I guess they did. They also had some Reign of the Seven Spellblades. I own volumes one through two, but only got halfway through volume uh, one, which is kind of unfortunate. But yeah, and then the Monogatari section, of course. Uh, they have the uh, season one, season two, season three box sets there for purchase. Uh, they're full price, so I probably wouldn't recommend buying from there. You could probably definitely find it cheaper online. Um, on the right stuff anime sale or on amazon it's usually on sale but yeah this is what i was talking about with uh, all the isekai stuff being in one section they had like re-zero um don machi and all the other stuff konosuba in that section so i was wondering why they didn't put it there but yeah and you always know in the light novel section the origairu of course caught my eye and also the Bunny Girl Senpai uh, caught my eye as well. Uh, speaking of Bunny Girl Senpai, I think it's amazing that the anime is getting a season two after so long. It's been like five years probably when the time it releases. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, and I'm probably gonna watch it because I did enjoy Bunny Girl Senpai. But they also had the omnibuses over here. Blade of the Immortal, Attack on Titan, A Silent Voice, Collector's Edition, uh, Full Metal Edition, of Full Metal Alchemist, um, and then they had The Girl on the Other Side, the Deluxe Edition. I think that these are beautiful. Um, the black and gold is really cool, um, and I heard the story's pretty good, but that price tag is kind of crazy. $43? I get it, but I'm probably going to go look for a deal online if I want to go purchase those, especially because I'm not really like in tune with the story like that. Uh, Vagabond was also there, and there I go. There I go in the etchy section, you know what we do in the etchy section. But, moving on, uh, Berserk singles and Omnibus is there, Gantz Omnibus is there as well. Uh, they had the Fate spinoff, their Summertime rendering, which does have a box set if you're interested in that. Some Steins Gate over there, My Dress Up Darling, Soul Eater Perfect Editions, um, Persona 5 I believe was there as well. And then the Yakuza's Guide to Babysitting, which I unfortunately dropped. Mob Psycho was there as well. And then this caught my eye, uh, the Kurosagi Corpse Delivery Service. $25. Uh, it's an omnibus uh, 3 out of 4, I believe. It was there. Might read that, to be honest. Uh, and, you know, had to pick up Peak. Someone didn't approve, though. 
uh, Bakke Monogatari was here as well. I've been rewatching Monogatari, the Monogatari series. It's pretty good. Actually, no, it's not pretty good. It's incredible. I mean, it's there's there's a reason why it's one of my favorites. There's a reason it was in my top spot once upon a time, and it hasn't disappointed. Uh, they also had some Gundam over there. Some Nichi Joe was also there. The box set looks pretty uh, enticing to me online, especially if it's for a good deal. I've seen it go as low as sixty dollars, which is crazy. So might have to pick that up. Pretty Boy Detective Club manga was there as well. They published Volume 2. Uh, After the Rain was there also, which, you know, I've heard some people call it problematic because of the age gap, but others have praised it for it being a pretty mature take on the age gap. Uh, I don't know if I'll read it, but uh, for those who are interested in that, it is available. And then the Tokyo Revengers Omnibus Number 3 for Volumes 5 through 6 is out, which wasn't the last time I looked at a manga store. Uh, they also had New Game, uh, one of my favorites. I finished rewatching it recently as well. And then they also had My Senpai is Annoying, Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, uh, Made in Abyss was there as well. And then below it was Blue Giant. Uh, Blue Giant looks pretty interesting. Maybe I'll read it. I do like the look of the omnibuses. But yeah, uh, moving on from that section, they had Embrace Your Size there. Uh, not sure what that was about, but moving on. Had some Kakiguri. Oh, Kakiguri recently did have its spin-off um, adapted. I didn't hear much noise about it though, which I guess means it wasn't that good. Um, I remember trying to watch Kakiguri when I first started watching anime. Uh, wasn't really my type of thing. Uh, they had the Death Note Black Edition. Speaking of starting watching anime, Death Note was my first anime, which is funny. Um, and then they had Dead Dead, uh, Demons, Destruction. So, something along the lines of that. Uh, Black Lagoon was there as well. I've only seen the uh, Collector's Edition and Omnibuses for that, so that was pretty interesting seeing the singles. A bunch of Beastars over there, for those that like Beastars. Uh, Doro Hidoro, which the art uh, I heard is nuts, and I definitely want to read it one day. They also had Fangirl, um, which I'm not sure what it's about, but the... Uh, cover interested me and so did the cover of drip drip that was kind of creepy and threw me off which made me want to look at it so i'm guessing it's a horror manga but i might be wrong they also had some pun pun and hell's paradise there i've read those and then they had look back by uh, tatsuki fujimoto uh which my girlfriend ended up buying uh which is kind of funny because usually i'm the one buying stuff but she ended up buying that that day uh, and then there was some jojos above there as well uh, don't mind me here just looking at peak uh best manga ever rent a girlfriend <clears throat> newest volume just came out with Ye mori on the cover um which uh she's pretty cool uh tokyo ghoul re was on the shelf as well and tokyo ghoul uh blue period i need volumes 9 through 11 i believe praying i'm praying that right stuff puts up a bundle I'm praying that they do. Um, but I think it's amazing how they're already on volume 11, and I believe the Japanese publication is on volume 12, so they will be catching up very soon. They also had uh, Blue Lock Peak. Uh, Blue Lock, unironically, is pretty good from what I'm watching. <laughs> and I picked it up, and <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. But Blue Lock has been pretty entertaining, I must say. I did have very low expectations, but it has blown my expectations away. And then they also had some life lessons with Urumichi Onisan, one of my favorites. Um, hoping to get it on sale for the right stuff sale, but I know I could find some cheap volumes on Mercari. And then, of course, we're admiring the Rent a Girlfriend section again. Uh, Vinland Saga was there, To Your Eternity also. And then they had uh, Wotakoi, which had a tellier in the bottom part of this shelf as well. And then the back is usually just a bunch of assortment of different manga from different publishers. Uh, they had some Vanitas, which is by Yen Press. I do want to read Vanitas because <clears throat> I just couldn't get into the anime, but it's very highly rated, so maybe it's one of those that's better off read rather than watched. They had Higurashi. I am currently on chapter 6 of the visual novel, um, which is a lot of progress since the last time that I talked about it. I was on chapter 5 last time and I was stuck, but I am on chapter 6 finally. And then they had some inspector, which kind of ruined my day. But it's alright, because they had some laid back camp. Uh, pretty good series, even though uh, I joke around with uh, my friend that I hate it, but I don't. It's pretty good. Mirko chan was there as well. They had some Origairu. 
you know, I love Oregairu, and I need to finish it. They also had Nozaki-kun, which, uh, is my girlfriend's favorite manga. Um, I believe she has volumes 1 through 8, um, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not a big fan of it. It is what it is. Um, Pandora's Hearts was also there as well. I wonder if that box set is still available. Uh, last time I checked, which was a while ago, it was, but who knows. They also had some Hanukkah-kun and some Yotsuba. I've heard really good things about Yotsuba. I heard it's very chill, very happy. Um, sounds like my type of series, and I definitely have to go and read it. But as you can see down here, just a bunch of manga, like a very wide range and wide sort of manga. Uh, but they had peak here, Boarding School Juliet for sure. Make sure y'all check that out, by the way. And then the Yuri section was right here. Y'all know that I love Yuri, but they didn't have Bloom into you, unfortunately. I need like volumes five, six, and seven, or six and seven, something like that. Uh, I wish that they would, you know, come in stock. It's it's been a while actually since I've seen it in the store, which is unfortunate. I don't know if there's a printing problem, but it is what it is. Um, and then this is the. Uh, Viz Media section with all the shonen stuff. Um, One Punch Man, One Piece, as you saw, a lot of One Piece. Um, Komi Can't Communicate, uh, Kubo Wants to Be Invisible, My Hero is also there as well. Speaking of Kubo Wants to Be Invisible, I heard it's very cute, very fluffy, uh, and I heard it's a very easy read, so um, I did want to read it, uh, but I don't know if I'll be able to get to it. They also have Moriarty the Patriot, I mean pretty good and the guys are hot on the cover so if you want to read like a Sherlock Holmes type thing you can check that out it might uh it might suit your taste uh Jujutsu Kaisen Jujutsu Kaisen was also there and then they had a surprising amount of Kage which was pretty cool I think volume 24 just released um there are 26 volumes total so or 27 I forgot but I'm hoping it gets a box set soon because it just recently ended so yeah, hopefully it does. Chainsaw Man there, Demon Slayer. The Chainsaw Man anime, can't lie. First like eight or so episodes, it was pretty slow. Um, I thought it was just all right. And then the last two episodes, it it picked up like a good amount. So I'm pretty excited for the rest of it. They also had some Call of the Night there. Hopefully, hopefully they have some Call of the Night bundles on the right stuff sale because damn, I wanna pick up some Call of the Night. And then over here, uh, they just had some Bleach stuff, some Naruto stuff. Um, yeah, you know. <coughs> all that, all that good stuff. But, um, that was pretty much it for the, uh, visit. Uh, I just looked through the art book section to see if they had anything new. It didn't really look like they did, so just a quick walk through here. Um, the art book section is pretty much where I lose a lot of my money because it's where a lot of my impulse buys, uh, happen. But... Not today, not today. All right, y'all, so that pretty much does it for the video, I know, we didn't buy anything. Uh, my girlfriend ended up buying Look Back by uh, Fujimoto, uh, so that was pretty cool, I guess, but I didn't end up buying anything because I kind of wanted to save money for the Right Stuff holiday sale. I'm waiting for it to reach week four so that all the deals are out and then I'll make a decision on what I want to buy. But there are some cool things there, uh, so maybe we'll end up buying some. But yeah, hope you enjoyed, I guess, the walkthrough of the manga store. Not really a manga shopping video, but the walkthrough. Uh, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.